Hey guys, welcome to Attack Device. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can root your Redmi Note 6 Pro. It don't need any computer or any other kind of software. You just need to download one file and you can download that file from the description box below and it's very easy process and it will take few minutes only just one minute actually so let's start the process so one thing which you need to do this process is that you need to have TWRP recovery or any recovery on your phone so that you can flash that file and everything will be done so let's start the process and one more thing just for the information that I have installed OnePlus 6 ROM on my phone and it's working very nice and if you like OnePlus 6 ROM it's oxygen os by the way and if you like that you can flash the oneplus 6 rom on your redmi note 6 pro and enjoy all the features of oneplus oxygen os if you want to do that click on the link below which i have put in the description box and you will get to know how you can flash the oneplus 6 rom on your redmi note 6 pro it's really very nice okay so without wasting any further time let's start so what you have to do is just download the file which is there in the description box below put that file in the local folder of your redmi note 6 pro and you're all set now to do the flashing you just have to boot your phone to twrp recovery mode so i'll just put my phone into twrp recovery so as you guys can see my phone is on twrp recovery mode right now so all you have to do is just click on install and navigate to the folder in which you have file placed and I have already opened that file if you can see it's magisk version 17.3 zip file you have to click on this file once you select the file you have to swipe to flash and it will take a couple of seconds maybe around 10 to 15 seconds and file will be flashed successfully so let's wait for the file to successfully complete there you go so our file has been flashed successfully as you can see on screen it says successful now everything is done all you have to do is now reboot system and click do not install now your phone will reboot and Magisk Manager will be available on your phone and your phone will be rooted. Alright, let's get into it. Yeah, so our phone has been booted. Now let's find the Magisk Manager. Yep, yeah, there you go. So if you guys can see, the Magisk Manager is available on our phone now. Let's click and see yeah so because i have installed a previous version of magic manager it is asking me to install the latest version which for now i will click no thanks and as you can see on screen currently installed version is 17.3 and currently latest version is available is 1801 so you can go for any version and that's it now your phone is rooted and you can do other stuff also using this root access so that's it now your phone is rooted and you can do other things with your phone using this root access so if you like this video hit like button share this video with your friend and subscribe to this channel thank you very much see you in the next bye bye